So, what do I call you? Diggle's good. Dig if you want. You're ex-military? Yes, sir. 105th Airborne out of Kandahar. Retired. Been in the private sector a little more than four years now. I don't want there to be any confusion, Mr. Queen. My ability to keep you from harm will outweigh your comfort. Do we have an agreement? Sir? Sir! <laughs> because the new guy just quit. No, I'm not. I'm here about the other position. Just to be clear, I'm not signing on to be a sidekick, but you're right. Fighting for this city needs to be done, and you're going to do this with or without me. Yeah. So with me, there'll be fewer casualties, including you. Diggle, I'm not looking for anybody to save me. Maybe not. But you need someone just the same. You are fighting a war queen, except you have no idea what war does to you, how it scrapes off little pieces of your soul. And you need someone to remind you of who you are, not this thing you're becoming. same pace you switch it up throw your opponent off his game ah that was nice where'd you learn that his name is Yao Fei did he give you those scars one of them and the others you know one of these days you're gonna be straight with me about what really happened on that island absolutely <laughs> what happened yes what's about to happen Bertinelli's enforcer Nick Salvati yeah we drank a scotch together. He seems like a real stand-up mobster. Yeah, well, he's been paying visits to everyone who owns the mob protection money. Diggle, I'm trying to figure out who took a shot at my mother, not take on all of organized crime. Well, listen, Oliver, Salvati and his goons have already put four people in the hospital tonight, and if somebody doesn't stop him, the poor bastard on Russo's gonna be next. Wait, wait. Russo's? It's at the corner of Adams. I know where it is, Diggle. I'm here right now. What? I was having dinner with Bertinelli's daughter. Oliver, you're supposed to be going undercover, not speed dating. I didn't have a choice. Yeah, well, uh, I've seen her on the web. You made quite the sacrifice. So body's here. Just your secret anymore, Oliver. And this woman is a killer. She's been dropping bodies all over the city. Nice, picking up the pace. I can say the same thing about you. Cross three names off your father's list this week alone. Yeah, well, some of these guys are just getting it up now. Probably gonna do is pay him a visit. Seeing the vigilante's reputation is beginning to precede him. <laughs> Another round? Gave you a Christmas present after all. Mm-hmm. Teflon coated titanium blades serrated to split the bone. Shaft is some type of specialized polymer, which is stronger than your typical carbon fiber. This. This is a custom job. So Lance gave in after the other archer dropped another body. Nelson Ravage. Which is another name you crossed off your dad's list. So is this guy trying to frame you or call you up? Rotate your hips, Diggle! That's where the power comes from. It's not just your arms. Even Witnesses place a 72-4 pickup at the scene of Danny De La Vega's fire. Okay. Stag chemical lit up 10 minutes ago. I hacked into Stag's video security feeds. Parked right on the street, running along the plant. Same pickup. I got your gear in the car. Oliver, by the time I get someone on the phone who will even listen to me, at least one of those firemen are going to be dead. But maybe you're not back to 100% like you thought. 
Maybe I'm not. Put the bow down. So I'm done that dig. Now you gotta watch to kill your pretty little girlfriend. No, please no. You're forgetting one thing, guys. Oh yeah, what's that? I'm the one with the grenade launcher. <sighs> Drop it, Ted. Or I swear. Don't posture. You're not gonna do it. You can't. I can see it in your eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. Come, come, come. Get steps. Let's go. No need to escort me inside. I'm fine on my own, Mr. Diggle. Of course, Mrs. Queen. Were you surprised? You were. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Nothing. Just hanging. I work for Mrs. Queen. And I work security for the man she's meeting with. Guess that means we're on the same team. I don't think so. And I'm gonna need to see what you put in your pocket just then. What are you, man, the police? Show it to me. Do it now. All right. I thought I could come in here and ruin my lungs a little bit. I know it's a filthy habit. Her office earlier tonight, she was unharmed in the assault. Excuse me. Can you help me? He's really heavy. No, oh, damn it. He just missed a karate. It's a zone two wound press there. I should have taken him to a hospital. No, listen, that's why he asked you to bring him here. Because he knew the police would want to know how and why he got that wound. I'm guessing how and why are all of the Queen's least favorite questions. Yeah, well, there's also when and where he's not too fond of. So we can't bring him to the hospital. We are bringing the hospital to him. Is that? Yeah. His blood, he stored up for a rainy day, and I say right now, it's pouring. Mm. I got it over there. Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I have some medical training in the Army. I just hope it's enough. You remember playing Operation when you were a kid? Yes. And it never made me want to throw up. Hey, well, listen, listen, trust me. You'll be fine. He's been through a lot worse than this. For you. Excuse me, Mr. Queen. The IT department has that item that you requested. One sec.
Yo. Hey. Where you been? Oh, I thought I'd give myself a rare morning in. Don't look at me like that. The club is opening, finally. McKenna and I are going on date number six tonight, which is significant. And, uh, I don't know. Seemed like a good day to give the bad guys a rest. Well, it's the bad girls that I'm worried about. Helena. Yes, or as I like to call her, your psycho ex-girlfriend. This was taken at Alley Cats, the strip joint. The police report lists the stiff's name as Gus Sabatoni. Spertinelli's lawyer. Why would you come back to Starling City just for him? It's not like he did a good job. The father serving consecutive life sentences without parole. Come on, Oliver. We both knew this was just a matter of time. You tried to help her, you couldn't. Now the only question is how long before she drops a dime on you, me, this whole operation. I want you to get in touch with our contacts in the Bratva. Talk to anyone on the street, figure out where Helena is and why she's back. Okay. But Oliver. Dig, if she's here, she's here for a reason. If that's not Frank Bertinelli, we need to know what she has planned. Okay. Dig. Feel better once we end dead shot. We will. We're blown. Take cover. Treat a girl who just walked up six flights of stairs. No, it's not. Where are my manners? Come on. Thank you. Oh, we gotta get out of here. Moira Queen, you have failed this city. I'm addicted to Big Belly Burger. Never had it. How's it with you? Keep the change. Oh, man, this was snuck past security. One of Merlin Jr.'s bimbos. She's pissed he never called her back. Copy that. I read the tabloids. Yeah, thanks again. Let's go, Barbie. Your new last name ain't gonna be Merlin. But I love him. He's my man. <laughs> I take back every joke I've made about you sticking a tracking device. You'll be too dead. Stairs, Oliver, go, go! 